What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jerio back in another video, back again on the action. Today, we got the dangerous world of South African trucking. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Located on the southernmost tip of the African continent, South Africa is a moderately sized nation with a population of just under 60 million people. You sound like As not the a lot fifth of most populous country in Africa and one of its major economic powerhouses, it's no surprise that there are 4.9 million licensed heavy duty drivers in the country, 450,000 of which are currently employed. A nation home to a diverse series of separate ecosystems, South African truck drivers face a range of challenges in their profession. From tackling treacherous inner-city traffic to navigating the open deserts of the country's interior, yeah, got there is no shortage desert. of excitement or danger in the life of a South African truck driver. Welcome to the fourth episode of Truck Man, I don't see how people could be truck drivers, bro. Like, I got a couple friends and I got a couple of my family members that do truck driving. And, you know what I'm saying, some of them do local, some of them do whatever the other one called, you know what I'm saying? But the local one, I, you know, that's something I could... I could possibly get into. But as far as being away from home for that long, bro, ain't no way in the hell I could be sleeping in the truck. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's just, I don't know. The only thing is it is, uh, it's a lot of opportunity and a lot of money that come out of it. But it's just like, I don't know if it's something that would fit me and my lifestyle, man. I don't know. Trucking World, South Africa. South Africa is home to the 10th largest road network in the world that spans over 750,000 kilometers. This network includes 12,978 I was thinking about doing it roads, before, but... A system of freeways intended to connect all major population mm -hmm. centers in the country, 394,000 kilometers enough. of provincial roads that either feed into national roads or serve as secondary trunk roads between cities. Because, like, truck driving is, like, a career and stuff like that. And me, personally, I really want to chase this one right here. I want to be a YouTuber, bro. I'm not going to hold you. That's really where my focus is at. So, like, as of right now, I'm really just working a job and trying to maintain whatever I need to maintain while I can do my YouTube and, you know what I'm saying, and collide them both. But until then, you know, I don't know. I really don't want to start a, a different career. But if I have to, you know what I'm saying, I'll go back In to school. In 16,000 kilometers you know, of get metropolitan it done. routes, which are controlled Ain't by too individual late. city governments. Still young. The remaining roads in the network have to are, find a career right now. are either made up of gravel or dirt. While many of the major highways are in great condition, some of the smaller roads are in need of repair and maintenance. The country has made significant investments in upgrading and expanding its road infrastructure, with several major projects currently underway, including the construction of some new highways and the expansion of existing ones. However, traffic congestion still remains a major issue in some urban areas, particularly around the traffic crazy now. As a result, South African truck drivers must navigate a complex and often challenging road network, one which requires ample skill and patience. As of 2016, South Africa has limited the speed mm -hmm. of heavy goods vehicles to a maximum of 100 kilometers an hour on certain highways, so long as they're hauling less than 9,000 kilograms, in which case the maximum speed limit is reduced to Yeah, you gotta miles. add on how slow you gotta drive with the truck. South Africa has a wide range all of truck brands of available in the market from around the world, including European brands such as Volvo, Scania, Mercedes, MAN, DAF, and Iveco, we get as well as certain Asian branded trucks such as FAW and Tata. Of course, South Africa's own Power Star trucks are a common sight here, as they're produced domestically like nice. and their purchase benefits the local economy. Select American branded trucks can be found here too, from companies such as Kenworth, Freightliner, or International. The availability of such a wide range of brands and models means that trucking companies Volvo. in South Africa have a variety of options to choose from when selecting their fleets. South you gotta buy your own truck. Is driven by a number of sectors, including mining, manufacturing, and agriculture, producing crops such as maize, wheat, and citrus fruits, as well as the raising of livestock. All of these main industries require trucks to transport goods, most of which are exported to China, the United States, Japan, and Maza, Germany, Bumbuiki. and Mozambique. Mozambique. Considering the dismal Mozambique. state of the country's rail network, almost all land exports are handled by truck, with the rest being taken be care of by sea transport. Truck size in South Africa is regulated by the National Road Traffic Act of 1996. According to this legislation... The Let me know in the comment section down below if I got any truck drivers. And y'all can drop stories or... Uh, Anything y'all want in the comment section, you know what I'm saying, to enlighten me on truck driving. An yeah, essay. Maximum length of a semi-truck and trailer combination is 22 meters, 
The maximum height is limited to 4.3 meters, and the total mass of a vehicle and its load must not exceed 56 metric tons. However, as with most countries, there are exceptions to these rules, such as in South African road trains. It's a lot Known of weight, long eh? combination vehicles, or V doubles, these vehicles boast a total length of up to 26 meters. Overloading is a common problem on South African roads, Cape Town, which can cause damage to the road surface and increase the risk of accidents. Why the hell would you stack your stuff like issue, that? The South African government has implemented a system of weigh bridges and it's other enforcement measures to ensure that trucks are not carrying excessive loads. On average, South African truckers make 200,760 rand per year, the equivalent of 10,769 US dollars. Damn, that ain't the shit! the highest salary for truckers out of any other African nation. South African truckers are limited to 14 hours working in a 24 hour period, 11 hours of which can be 10,000 a year? In Ain't a that like. Period, truck drivers can be on duty for a McDonald's motherfucker makes some shit like that? Though this can be expanded up to 70 hours in an 8 day period. Trucking in South Africa is considered a dangerous profession for multiple different reasons. Firstly, truck hijackings have become quite a large issue in the country, particularly in the provinces of Gauteng, KwaZulu Natal, and Mpumalanga. These jackings not only put a truck driver's life at risk, but end up costing truck hey, companies this video. significantly. I look at my reaction. Perform with the sole intention of stealing the cargo. Other drivers also pose a great risk to South African truckers, as the country consistently ranks the seventh worst in the world and the fourth worst in Africa when it comes to traffic safety. As seventh, traffic seventh worst in the world, fourth in Africa. It's not uncommon to see reckless driving, speeding, <laughs> or sudden lane changes, especially Dang. on smaller streets and in less controlled areas. Reckless truckers pose a major risk to both other truckers and Damn, cars. Damn! That is a game! Crazy truck drivers have been an issue in South Africa, and though some are caught for violating the law, there are you plenty trip, of You can't drive no truck like that? South Africa is so reliant on those who drive trucks that their contribution to the economy is essential for the continued development of the country. Despite all hang-ups, South African truckers still get to experience yeah, the see how he was driving that motherfucker. in the world. And though the state of their industry is imperfect, we should thank them all for the work they do. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the channel's Discord linked Bro, in the The way he was driving that truck was crazy. He could have took that at any second. But I see SA, y'all got some problems with y'all drivers. Me coming out there, I would literally get in road rage every time I step outside if we're gonna be acting like that. Cause like I can't I, I hate that shit. If I'm if I'm in the right lane, I'm gonna turn to the left and you in front of me. And you, you know what I'm saying? You, you go right before I'm going or some stuff like that. Like that type of that type of stuff take me there. You know what I'm saying? Another thing that pisses me off, like how y'all seen that car was coming this way, and he was finna turn left, right? As he finna turn left, that car waited all the way till he got all the way up here and want to turn at the same time. Like stuff like that, will piss me off, bro. But you know what I'm saying? This with it is. Put some of your thoughts down below. Be sure to like the video, comment below, subscribe to your boy, the engage boy, Jonas. Put your boy Jerio. Go. On.